So as you're going through the woods, you can see something was moving through here. You can see little disturbances in the leaves, in the moss. So you always tell, see that? You look at that closely, that disturbance. Who knows what it was that was moving through here? Hopefully something was moving through here. So you can always see like that, see that? That's a disturbance. So you can always pay attention if something came through. See that? That's a disturbance. So something was coming through here. Look at that. See that? Something made their way here. You can pick up on the little things. You see these depressions? See that? That tells you something moved through here. Broken sticks. See that? So you can tell something moved through here. Person, bike, animal. Yeah, we don't know. You can tell by little tracks and things like that. Something moved through here. So it's just a little tracking skill. See that? That depression. See how everything else is got all kinds of pine needles and leaves, but that. That's clean. So something moves through here. You can just see little little things here and there. You know? It's a beautiful day to be hiking. February. I think it's about 42, 43 degrees. <clears throat> it might rain, but beautiful day to be out here, you know? See, that's a disturbance right there. See all the pine needles everywhere else? And then you have a clear spot. You're not going to have a clear spot in the woods full of pine needles. Those clear spots come from something. See that? Something moved through here. You can even see the indentation. It's pretty big, too. Who knows when it moved through here? See that? See how the pine needles are cleared away? That tells you something moved through here. Person, animal. See how that see how that slid down? Something was moving through here. So let's do a little nice. Oh look at that, see that? That was a clear prints right there. That was a clear prints. You could see that right there. They're pretty fresh. So we'll see. Let's see what we got out here. But those are pretty clear prints. You'd be amazed. The bear doesn't leave many prints. But you can tell when they walk through here. Uh, for as heavy as they are, it's amazing that they don't leave that much uh, that much evidence of them coming through. There's some you'll see bear poop and you'll see prints and you see big prints like that usually could be a bear nothing's gonna leave a big print like that most of the animals are pretty small here deer they don't leave those kind of prints it could be people could be just a foot slid out a little bit did you see these things those are prints of something moving through here so, definitely something coming through. And this is a, like a four mile hike I'm doing today. 
So this is pretty exhausting because it's definitely all uphill on this one. I forgot it was all uphill on this one. So if we see any more prints, I'll put some more in the video. But just wanted to give you a little idea. You see that leaf right there? You see how that's all the other leaves are up. But you see how that one is depressed. So something came through here. You can just little things you can pay attention to. To see if something or someone walked the path you're on. Look at that, see that? See the disturbance? You can tell the difference. Because we're going uphill, you're gonna leave those, see? Look at that. That. That, you can tell by the way the earth has moved, something came through here. Alright, if I get some more, I'll put some more video up. See that? That's not normal. That's been clawed apart by something. As you can tell, something was digging for something in here. That's just another sign that something was here. You can tell that's all dug out. See how it's all ripped up? Something definitely traveling here with claws. Looking for some grub. Bear, raccoon, some sort of animal. You just got to be aware when you're in the woods that there are there's a lot of wildlife up here. You just gotta be careful. Alright, I'll post that later. See that? That looks like some kind of boot or sneaker. Do you see the indentations? That means something was here. But I've been finding a lot of them on this trail. They're pretty fresh. They would be covered already if they were. Like a month old, then maybe a couple weeks, maybe even more recent than that. You can tell by the depression, something was moving through. I'm very slightly disturbed, but some disturbed it. That rock was deeper in the ground. So that tells you something moved through here. So little things like that let you know something moved through here. Yeah. Just a little bit of a disturbance. What things? Just always Pay attention to these little things, you know, know your surroundings, you know, and know if something moved through the woods before you or after you, you know, you know, see the moss, that's a disturbance, that's not normal, look at that, see that rock, that's moved out of place. I'm knocking on the trees over here. I don't know what it is. Something was knocking over here. Oh, interesting. And you got a water source here. Look down there. So you know you gotta run through some animals at a water source. See that? So little disturbances that you just see. Anything like that that's cleared out. That's what trackers use. You know? So you just can see little things that'll let you know. You know? Age-wise, I don't know if I can age it, but, you know, if it's here for over a month, 
going to look totally different. But those are probably within a couple weeks, a week or two. So some of them look pretty fresh. And you see it's still moist. You know that's pretty fresh. You know? Look at that. Got a little stream right by your side. It's really cool. On that note, if I get some more, I'll record some more. Uh, see that? It's not a natural disturbance. Neither is those leaves. Something was around. Something like something laid. Look at this. You see this? Something laid right there. If you look at it closely, you can see that something laid right down, right there. Look at that circle. I'm not going to be able to see, but definitely something laid right there and moved around. That's could be a deer. It's pretty big. Could be a bear. See that? That's a print. A lot of disturbed leaves over here. That's interesting. That might be bad poop right there. See that? See the disturbances that could be. That's probably just little chipmunks. See those little holes? And look at that. See that? That's a pretty big disturbance. And if you see bears, you see a lot of rocks moved on the rocks and trees. They're looking for grubs. That's definitely something moving through here. Surprised they went so low. Pretty cool. It's spooky at the same time. Right, let me shut it off. If I find something else, I'll upload it. Just a tiny disturbance in the moss. And that tells you something. Yeah. Little things. Look at that. See that dirt? Disturbed. Little things you can pick up on. You know, you walk and hiking. Just enjoy learning things. How to spot if something came through your area. You know? Always keep memory of certain, you know, let's say trees or rocks. In case you need to find your way back. There's certain, you know, Certain mental pictures you could put in your head of your surrounding area. So that way you don't get lost. So, just take a mental picture. I mean, most of us have cameras now. You can actually take pictures. You see a nice rock, take a picture. So that way you can see your way back. Huh? Comes a little bit of rain. I was hoping to beat it, but a little bit coming down now. It's like in the middle of the woods. Oh, see that? Oh, that disturbance. You can just tell. You know? Let's see this. Like this. Take a mental picture or a picture of this. You're not going to see a duplicate of this. So you know you need to come back this way. What you're looking at, you know? See a fallen tree. Take a picture of that. It's just little markers. You to be able to get through the woods, you know. So let's take little mental notes. I want pictures. You got a camera, don't you? Well, that's pretty cool. When you're walking through the woods, different ways of tracking, different ways of not getting lost, but you can't forget this, you know. On that note, 
Just shut it down in case it does start raining. I don't know if you see how faint that is, but see that depressed leaves right there. Look at the rest of it. It's not depressed. But here and here, you have depressed leaves. You can just tell that little bit of a difference. You know? These are usually loose and not really depressed. When they're flat and depressed like that, something moved through there. There's little things that you can see when they're walking through the woods. Over here, you're not going to see much. When it's like this, disturbance is hard to find when you're tracking, so you got to look for the leaves. You just got to look for little tiny depressions in the leaves. And that'll give you an idea if something came through. get to see when it's not an ordinary ordinary depression because it stands out less the leaves are fluffed up but the depressions are flat so just a little heads up if you want to learn how to track you know but you can see just the difference you know Look at that. You have the leaves are buckled up. You can just see something just printed itself right there. You know? Little tiny things that'll make you. You know? As you can tell, so you have to. That's probably a chipmunk. You can see something that's there. I would recommend if you're walking in the beginning for that disturbance. That rock probably was there. See how it moved? If you're a beginner, walk with somebody. If you're trying to get healthy and lose weight and walk with somebody. Uh, I used to walk with somebody all the time. But now that I'm getting stronger, feeling healthier, I feel confident walking by myself. <coughs> you know? But look at that look. Look at that tree being ripped like that. That's snapped. That's a fresh clean snap, but I don't see the I don't see the tree. That's interesting. I got a couple of fresh snaps. Interesting. See that? Those are markers. Somebody bent that tree that way. Leave it as a marker. That's not natural. Trees don't grow naturally like that. Somebody actually bent this tree so that way he would know where he's going. But that's a marker. If you're ever looking through the woods and you see unnatural trees like that, somebody marked that. Somebody bent that tree so that way they would have a marker. It's just little tricks <clears throat> when you're walking through the woods. Somebody, when that was a little tree, bent it. So that way they would know where they were going. And then the tree makes that bow and it's a permanent marker. And they used to do that all the time in the woods. You know, way, way back. They used to bend trees like that so they would have markers. You know? See, that's a disturbance. See those leaves? And they moved like that. Something came through. So, always be aware of your surroundings. I mean, sometimes you really can't do much about it. Something comes up on you, but try and keep it. Try and keep yourself aware. You know? disturbance right there very faint As you can see see that even that's a little disturbance and just see so 
It's just really cool. I can show people this, you know. So, hopefully you enjoy it. Just something I wanted to add. In case you're ever walking through the woods. I picked a, picked a long walk today, boy. See that? That's a woodpecker. That's a fresh woodpecker hole. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That's another thing you can see. A little markers for animals. That's a woodpecker hole. That woodpecker was pecking away. That would have been a great video if I could have got him. I picked a long walk today. I'm not even a and you know it's on the quarter way through. So we'll see. Got my light today. You know. So we'll see if it's dark when I'm going back. Usually I bring my light, but not today we'll be walking in the dark. If I'm walking in the dark, I guess some video later. Alright, on that note, I'm just gonna shut it down. Yeah. Now, if you're going hiking, pay attention. Upload some videos. You know? See if you can track. See if you can find little things that let you know from the been through here. You can tell there's a lot of bikes going through there. See that? That's them scraping their metal. If you see it, they're doing their little jumps over here. They're scraping the bottom of their bikes. They've been mountain biking over here. Little things like that. Give you an idea of where you are. What's coming through the area you're walking. It's pretty cool. You know? You can definitely tell the difference between a bike coming down. Human. Animal. The pressures vary. See that? These moved. Disturbed that area right I always think that's pretty cool. You know, so next time you're hiking, walking through the woods, see if you can spot some of those things. See if you can become a tracker. You know? It's pretty interesting when you're walking. Just learn certain things. You just walk, pay attention. Walk through the woods. You know? You never know when you're gonna come up on an animal, you know. A lot of times I'm out here trying to get track down deer or animals and put them on video. I'm very, very quiet though. I don't think I think there'd be a lot of activity. Oh, this is gonna be a walk and a half. Oh, I remember this one. This is going all the way up. Oh boy. It's gonna be a walk and a half. I forgot about this. But I'm gonna go up, 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 up. So that should be interesting. A couple of sharp inclines here. This one's not that bad, but you definitely feel it. Since you're not seeing that. I definitely see some disturbances. Usually I walk the other way down. Look it up. I forgot, but see that? Look at that disturbance. See the way the leaves are puffed up in the flatness? Look at that. See that? That's a disturbance. And something came out of here. Oh boy. Up, up, and away. Sleeping coins over here. And then you're at the, let's say, say I'm about the middle way up, maybe a little less. He definitely get tired.
Pretty nice glasses. I'll leave them there in case they have a stop by. That's a disturbance. See that? Look at that. You can just tell the difference. Nice little off panel. Definitely got some good ones up here. I'm just gonna shut it down for a couple minutes. I make this trick. Look at that little disturbance right there. You would pass it by if you're not paying attention. I can tell. Something moving up here. See? It's a little bit of disturbance in the leaves. You know? Yes, that's probably a human footprint. See that disturbance? That's a human foot. If I can just tell little things. Leaves are curled up a little bit. See the little bike trail? You look right up there. You see the little bike. and bike came down here. Disturbed the leaves. It's always little things you can pick up on. You know? See that? That's a bike. That's a bike disturbing that right there. That's a tire. Little tricks. Disturbances, see? It's a lot of bad. Disturbing and dirt. Just keep moving. Even though you want to stop, you want to build. You want to like, I'm going to stop right here. Look at that, see that? Another disturbance. That's not human. Or a bike, that's an animal. See that? is disturbed. See that? You can tell that's an animal. You can just see little things. Show you some things. You know? See how the rock has moved? That rock was facing this way. But now it's disturbed. Something came through. Those little things give me an idea. When things are coming through your way, where that, that animal is going in the opposite direction of me, you can tell by the clear. Hey, this poop. It's going the opposite direction. This is where the you know, the knuckles are going. Maybe even the dog. You know? But you can just tell little things. You know? Just a little bit of disturbance. Let you know something's been around. Usually you can tell which direction they're going, whether they're going with you or away from you. Whew. That's a good hike up that hill. See? 
disturbance. And you can just barely see it. You know? see that but look at that and the ground has moved a little bit and on that note I'll shut it down for a little while I find some more I'll record them and then when you're tracking you find your quarry and there's some deer just sitting there right next to me and I just put them on video It's very, very cool. Oh, just two deer. Look at that. Look at that. Just sitting from both sides. It's one of the cool things. I'm learning how to track. You know? I think it's pretty cool. What? Oh, here's a marker. Put that in mental note, picture, and you're at a marker. So if you ever get lost, you can find it like that. I just find your markers like that. What do we got here? Tomahawk, huh? What is this? This is new. Some new trail. Interesting. Look at that. That's a walk this one day. I'm not gonna do it today. Come on, walk. Interesting. I like it. Some trail to walk. That's cool. One day I'll come up here. See if I can find the beginning and end of the tunnel. But look at that, a lot of bikes. See the tracks? We even track humans. I can see the bike tracks. Interesting. Yeah, you got a lot of bikes here, see that? Bikes coming down. Tunnel, huh? That's interesting. New path. I wasn't here the last time I walked up here. That's new. That's interesting. I'm excited. I'm always excited when they make new have new trails. You know? That's definitely cool. Alright, I'm gonna sign off for a little bit. Maybe I'll put some more. That rock has moved. See where it originally was and where it is now. <coughs> That's probably a bike did that. Not a bike. But you can tell it's just moving and disturbing <coughs> from its original point. So you can tell something you have to read. Look at this. But. <coughs> I'm pretty deep in the woods now. But I'm biking, mountain biking over here. Keep on walking. Uh -oh. Look at this. This trail I've been on before. It's a judo hunter. That's a nice trail to walk. Judo hunter's pretty good. I got a little bird up there. It's one of those little. It's like a woodpecker type of bird. On that tree. I don't know if you can see it. Moving up further, and that's pretty cool. There you go. Disturbance. See that? That's a bike or something. We're going this way, further up. Dude Hunter's a good trail, though. I'm gonna upload all those videos. I really didn't have time. But I got time.
tons of videos of walking through the woods. But uh, today's a video about tracking, tracking in the woods. So I'll upload that. You can see a little disturbances. I can about that bike. beautiful lake when you get to the top of this it's not the end of the trail but if you have a walk this you know you can just enjoy the lake for a little bit before you continue on or you can take a shortcut you can walk back on a different path it's a little easier to walk if you're tired and this is I think DJ Downs DJ Downs. We got a lot of mud coming up. This is a good walk. Right now, I started out about 2.40. And I'm probably close to 4 o'clock. 4.07. So, I've been walking for a good amount. And now, uh, we got a long walk back. But... Part of the walk might be in the dark on the way back. That's a fun too. That's a fun to walk back in the dark. You see that? That's a marker. Somebody put a rock there. That's a marker. That's not natural. So, so somebody just wanted an extra marker. You know? Tracking. I don't know what that is. Pretty big animal. Dog? Big cat? I think it's a. That's another way to track. Track animals. Especially when I'm tracking deer. I'll look for deer poop. different animals track down this road. So animals always take the path of least, least, least resistance. So it's a good chance if you're walking a path somewhere, a trail somewhere, you might run into some animals, especially at night. Most of them are nocturnal movers, bears in the summer, the spring. They're early morning movers, late night movers. They do not like to move in the heat. So when it's hot, midday, you're going to have a lot less chance of running into one of them. But when it's cool out, that's where they're moving. There's my quarry. Look at that. We got them. That's what I'm tracking deer. Yeah, she is. That's great. And you know there's no predators around when you're calm like that. So you don't have to worry. And you know you're pretty safe when you're calm like that. And they're statuesque. So that's great. That's what I track. You know, animals. I try and get them on video. I'm trying to get them. You know, I got a baby bear on video, but no big bears. I've run into them, but I couldn't quite get a video of them. That's even majestic. Just to get a deer walking through. And to get a nice video like that. That's why you track. That's why you walk through the woods. See, she's calm now. She knows I'm not a threat. So she starts moving around. They're statuesque because they don't think you can see them when they're standing still. So that's an awesome video right there. Here. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. See, she's calm now. She's eating. She knows I'm not a threat. So she's going to start eating. Chowing down. And that's 
the greatest thing when you can can be so calm around you. You know. You know that they're calm. You know they trust you. You know. So that's pretty cool. It's sort of solitary deer. Lately I've been getting groups of deer. Solitary deer. You know? Oh, she. She had something in the distance. Yeah, she's picking up on something away from us. So she's paying attention to me. Oh, we do have a group of deer here. Look at that. They're coming straight towards me. Interesting. Here they come, look at that. I can't believe they're coming right towards me. That's an amazing thing right there. Look at that, oh my god. Holy crapola. Hi. That's pretty close. That's amazing. They're curious. Look at that, how close they got. There's a whole bunch of them. Hi. Surprised you guys got that close. That's great. That's a video. That's a video. Oh my. That's a video, girls. Thank you for a great experience. That's a rarity when you can come up that close. That is great. So, got a whole group of deer here. And these two came right up to me. I'm surprised they came so close. But that is great. I just. Chilling out. You get a whole flock of them. Can you see them in the distance? Look at them. This is a great little excursion. That's awesome. Run into a whole flock of deer. Look at them. Look how close they are. So brave. Hi. Oh. We got people. Oh, see you later. These people scared them away. Look at that. That's too bad. That was a great experience. We got people walking through.